Okay, I'm doing a video with no filter. If you like no filter, subscribe to my channel. Is that tricky? It is, isn't it? It's shady. Because <laughs> you know I love the filters. But I'll, t I'll stop them if you subscribe. No, I'm never stopping the filters. That was a total lie. I love them too much. They're like my secret symbols and, and like my secret thoughts. But I am not wearing a filter and I did just get my face lasered. But you know what, guys? We share everything. So we'll share this too. My, my face like it is. Um, okay, so Real Housewives of Orange County. Big drama happened this week with Vicki Gumbelson. She went on her Instagram saying that the reason that she um, broke up with uh, Steve, who's her last boyfriend who ran for governor, and actually he didn't even make it in the book. I posted the book on the Patreon, Dishing Drama, Dana. And in there you'll see he didn't even make it in the book, but I talk about like why in the, okay. in the so book. So here's what happens. Vicki Gunvalson goes on her Twitter the other day and she writes, unfollow Steve if you are. And then she writes, while I was out of town working on a business trip, he took her to my condo in Mexico. He's been flaunting her around my town in OC, making out in public places. It's disgusting, puke symbol. So apparently Steve's been dating this much younger woman who's like, I guess she's like 32. And he's been, I guess, like kind of been seen around town and like, Vicky's jealous basically um, because the girl's much younger and I'm sure it doesn't feel good to have like your guy doing that. Now, everyone was like pretty upset because she made it sound like he cheated on her, right? Like the way she did this post, it was like he was cheating on her while she was on a business trip, right? So then Steve Lodge, who's the Steve that's going out with Vig Vicky Gumbelson, like you care, but anyway, Steve, goes on his uh, Instagram and he posts, uh, it was such a beautiful day in Puerto Vallarta today that I, I just had to share this photo and then he shows this like great picture of Puerto Vallarta. And then it says, if you're looking for a great economic vacation that uh, this is it, there's so much to do here. The restaurants are fantastic and it's a short flight from most you most airports in the US and he lists all these different things that he loves about the place like tequila, beach, beer, seafood, vacation, sunsets, restaurants, humpback whales, jungle. What else? What else can we do in Puerto Vallarta? Anyway, um, I guess a few fans commented so like all oh. of the, the, the fans, I guess, started to attack him like I did because I mean, why wouldn't you? I hate a cheater. It drives me crazy. And he was like, what the hell's going on? And you must have looked up Vicky's post. And so he responded publicly with this. Vicky and I ended our engagement and relationship in December of 2020. I did this in person verbally and explained it to her in writing. We wrote her a letter <laughs> too. <laughs> How lovely. We had not been in an intimate relationship since September of 2020. I've been living in Puerto Vallarta in my own condo, not hers since the beginning of 2021. Ooh, that's a development. We remained friends, but it was clear to me that Vicky was still wanting more. Ooh, ouch, <laughs> which I told her was not possible. Oh my goodness, why did he have to say all this? It's too much. I wanted to, I, I wanted to so move So after on. he says like, that was never gonna be possible. So like, I have this image of Vicky in my mind going like, Steve, like, don't you like me? And we get along so well. And he's like, no, actually, I like this 38 year old girl, but I'm not able to tell you that. So I'm just gonna try to break it off nicely because you're famous. Okay, <laughs> anyway, he goes on. I wanted to move on with my life and I could not do that with Vicky. I'm sorry that Vicky cannot accept this, but it was time. Oh my God, he's making her like she's desperate for him. Oh God. The absolute lies she is now spreading on social media is very disappointing and disingenuous to say the least, but I cannot say I'm surprised. Ooh, what a dig. She should not be dragging Tamara or anyone else into her lies. Ooh, with that being said, I still wish her all the best. Oh, Steve's trying to like, you know, be the higher guy. Still trying to be governor, I guess. So a lot of people were like, why would Vicky make it seem like he cheated on her and all this stuff and act like he shouldn't be with this girl around town 
if she wasn't with him. Now I went on our Instagram feed and tried to see if there had been pictures of her and him, you know, around that time. And the last ones I saw were around December, 2020, but she was asking people to vote for him for governor, just like whenever that was, it wasn't too long ago. Like, I think it was like two, three months ago. I'm doing that from memory. But I mean, she literally just asked everyone to vote for him and they were sort of presenting themselves as a couple almost like it gave, had that feeling when he was running for governor. And I'm wondering if she feels like he used her to try to become governor. Meanwhile, a lot of the fans have been telling me that they think that Vicky really has trouble keeping a man because she's unhinged and she's using this fight for pu publicity to like either get herself back on the Real Housewives of Orange County, which a lot of people think is impossible, or to get press before her show comes out on the Peacock. You know that show where they take a bunch of different housewives, it's like a mashup. We used to call it Housewives All-Star and they ended up changing it to something like a weekend away with your girlfriends or something. I don't know, I can never remember the name of it. Like the name's a little clunky. Anywho, but that show. Anyway, she's on it. So maybe she's trying to get press before that comes out by having a scandal. She knows the fans love it. So anyway, there it is. What do you think? What do you think? Why did Vicky make it seem like he cheated on her when he wasn't even with her?